The overall goal of this procedure is to use liquid cell transmission electron microscopy to investigate the motion of nanoparticles in the solution phase in real time. This method can help answer key questions in the field of nanoscience, for example about how nanoparticles form self-assembly structures during solvent drying. The main advantage of this technique is that it makes tracking nanoparticle motion in real space and real time possible. The implications of this liquid cell technique extend to all tracking individual motions of nanoparticles that are shown by conventional methods. So this method can provide insight into self-assembly of nanoparticles. It can be also applied into other models such as oriented attachment of nanoparticles. To begin the procedure, place in a 100 milliliter three neck round bottom flask, 17.75 milligrams of ammonium hexachloroplatinate, 3.72 milligrams of ammonium tetrachloroplatinate, and 115.5 milligrams of tetramethylammonium bromide. Add to the flask 109 milligrams of polyvinyl pyrolidone and 10 milliliters of anhydrous ethylene glycol. Equip the flask with a stir bar, a rubber septum, and a reflux condenser. Start the stir motor and while stirring at 1000 RPM, degas the reaction flask under vacuum for one hour. Then, under a flow of argon, heat the reaction mixture to 180 degrees Celsius at 10 degrees per minute. Stir the mixture at 180 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes, then allow the mixture to